your days below, your hardships few. Good health. Level five. What wishes to you? May your days be long and your hardships few. Ever the road travel by few. upon your family. How do you figure out how the hell I pronounce my character's name? Is it Blaise? Blaise? I think it was Blaise. Shocks on here. Shocks up there. But then where would I put my totems? Usually on this shift one, shift two, shift three, shift four, shift five stuff. Like these ones. Here's here's what I usually do is this is like finishing move kind of stuff usually. This is buffs. These are all cooldown kind of moves. Usually like 30 seconds or more kind of cooldowns. So, where would I put Earth Totems? <gasps> this one's sort of a buff, but... Open your heart to the light. Do I really have to walk all the way there? <sighs> so this totem's sort of like a buff, but some of the other ones like do damage and stuff like that, so it's... Putting it up here is a little too inconvenient to use it during battle. PvP type of battle. PvE is like, who cares, but... Not that I'll be PvP for a while. <sighs> As I saw in my other character, the Twinks are really scary these days. <clears throat> but, uh... But yeah, I wanna not get in a bad habit or anything like that and have to switch hotkeys up later and then not be able to play effectively because I'll be hitting the wrong button. It's one of the things that has made me worried about changing my hotkeys in StarCraft 2 because there's certain ones that they really put way out of the way for some reason. The Naru have not forgotten us. But if I change it to grid hotkeys, then it'll be like... Very different. Kronakai Christor! The Naru have not forgotten us. Teach me how to fish! Teach me, teach me how to fish! Safe journey. What the hell? Is it Murloc in the 
fish. That really caught me off guard. Where the fuck am I gonna put these totems? Interesting that they've moved it to a spells auto leveling up instead of uh, having to buy the level ups. Just because one of the uh, tricks back in the day that basically made shaman overpowered was all their different shocks. And like you had, you had the lower level shocks as well. So with the, uh, so like game when you have plenty of plus spell damage, like the top two or three shocks are of each type are were all very effective. So you could uh, you'd spam shocks like crazy. Uh. Similar to uh, the druid just spamming, uh, I think it was called Moonfire. Throw like that, just obnoxious spamming instant casts on you. And uh, the shocks actually do stuff though. Um, I thought it was this one. The Earth Shock, but either they changed it or maybe it's a different one where uh, it interrupts spells, spell casting. So you could uh, interrupt people like crazy by casting the different level versions of it. It's very powerful, but yeah. They've definitely changed that. Glad I'm not getting Murlocs anymore. But I'm really swimming pretty far away from where I actually got that quest. Attack me, anyways. 
It's actually hostile. Kronakai Christor. By few. Staff I got from that quest. Open your heart to the light. Uh, just sell it. Never use those. Unless I don't begin to quest. Vigilant. Son of a bitch. Fuck. I'd say that a lot louder if it was daytime. Ah. 